Hi, Kat Johnson here with Stamp Art Connection and StampArtConnection.com. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator and I have an awesome project for you if you're looking for something for Mother's Day and this is featuring some of the new products from the new annual catalog that is now live. Here are two examples and I'm using the DSP from the Fresh as a Daisy Suite and it's got some lovely patterns that I really like. So I'm using these these um, these patterns and the colors are the uh, copper clay and boho blue. So those are our main colors. Um, when you take off the belly band what you're going to reveal is a wonderful pop-up basket bouquet and I'm using all the the daisies from the from the cheerful daisy set and ha at, you know how I love 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 to go ahead and use my little muffin tin where I just create a whole bunch of different uh, daisies just sit down and, and just create and I even have some of the other ones. So um, I'm not really going to show you how we do this because I've got several videos out there and I will have links to them on how you can go ahead and, and, uh, and stamp these and cut them out and including these and these would make, these are another example of the daisy die cuts that come out of this cheerful daisies bundle. But um, we're going to put together the mechanism and this is all thanks to Sam Calcutt of Mixed Up Crafts. These are, this was her idea. I love taking her ideas and applying stamping, uh, stamping up products because I just think they're, they're gorgeous. So here is one example that I, that I made and you just kind of close that off. You can, and, and look at that, you can put your message right here, write your message, open that up and then um, you can just have that, you know, setting up just so lovely on a, on a bureau or on a desk or on a, on a, uh, a dresser. So there's that one. And then the outside of this project is using the, the circle veins. This is another uh, new set and it comes with a punch. This is a bundle that comes with a punch. It comes with a two and three eighths punch. But if you also happen to have the two and a half punch, you can create these nice uh, layered circle here with boho blue and with our copper clay. These are our, our two colors. And I made the belly band. Okay, so having showed you that, I want to show you the, the, the other card. And this card again, I kind of, I kind of changed up the design a little bit. This card is another example of using the die cut flowers, and you can see I changed it up a little bit. All the little centers of the of the daisies are popped up just to give it a little bit more, more dimensional. And the basket here which is the front of our card is a piece of uh, copper clay uh, cardstock and then I use the copper clay ink with a sponge dauber and he and this is my cane weave 3D embossing folder that I used and you can use any embossing folder that you have that kind of gives you a nice a nice basket a nice basket design I will show you my first effort here and um, this was another card that I made and this is using one of my favorite sets um, and I'll have have the, the link if you happen to have this but here I use uh, kind of like the the um, rattan weave here that uh, that I put together this was my first effort and this was using colored cardstock so I did put a a piece of cardstock down here where you could write a, a, a sentiment and I haven't decorated the front of this but I will be decorating the front to give that 
to someone for for Mother's Day. But I wanted to create these because when I saw the the Daisy the cheerful Daisy set, I really I really got excited and said I, I know what I want to do with that and I've been I've been sitting here uh, working working on that so I could show you. So there you go. Um, these are this is the project that, that we're going to put together and you're going to need to put this together you're going to need to um, again the colors that I'm featuring are going to be the boho blue the copper clay um, the, the daisies are going to have wild wheat lemon lolly and pebbled pebbled path so all of the colors are going to be part of um, the daisy colors that we're going to be using now here is um, Moody Mauve and I believe this one is uh, Berry Burst so these are some of the colors that I had from from the other uh, from another project okay so um, you're going to need um, some basic white cardstock I'll have all the dimensions and I'm just going to go ahead and uh, let's get started So what I did to select the colors for my daisies is I laid them out on the DSP that I was going to choose for the background, which is this piece here in boho blue, basic white, and in the copper clay. You're also going to need a the base card, which is cut at 10 by 7 inches, and you're then going to need the mechanism, which is what we're going to uh, build our bouquet around and that's going to be three and a half by eight and a half. You're also going to need three pieces cut at three and a half by two and three fourths and these three pieces are going to be the the um, parts of the mechanism that you're going to adhere um, the bouquet stocks to. We're then going to go ahead and bring in our scoreboard and we're going to cut our base we're going to score rather our base card at two and a half by seven and a half using our bone folder we'll get a nice crisp edge and the DSP layers are going to be two and a quarter by three or by two and a quarter by six and three fourths layers for the side and the middle is going to be four and three fourths by six and three fourths and all of this information will be available on my blog. Now this is the mechanism piece and this piece is going to be scored at a half, three inches, five and a half and eight inches. You can see Old Mittens wants to get in on the action here. Now I'm going to turn my uh, mechanism at, along the three, the two and three quarters edge and what I'm going to do and I'm kind of showing you my pattern is I'm going to create some score lines that I'm going to use as guides to cut the slots that are needed to create the um, the holes for our bouquet so I'm showing you that I'm lining up my my uh, pattern with what I've just uh, scored and at the top is the uh, one half inch lip right there and I'm going to score at the edge uh, a quarter on both sides and I'm going in between those two uh, score lines uh, that are going to create the folds and I'm just kind of then going to score and I have these measurements and I'll have a pattern uh, that you will be able to see on my blog I'm just kind of folding over that that um, that flap because you you want to score at one quarter from the edge of that fold, uh, three fourths, one inch, one and a half inch, one and three fourths, and then two and a quarter inch, and that's just going to create um, just some guides that I'm going to cut between the two edges that are a quarter inch and you can kind of see where I have um, where I have scored those now here is my uh, my cutting pad and I'm just going to kind of bring the camera in and you can just barely see they're not very deep scores they're just enough so that you can follow them with an exacto 
What you can see though are the two one quarter inch score lines um, that are along the along the edge. Um, I'm going to mark with a pencil the lines that I want to cut with my X-Acto and I'm basically going to create, I'm going to cut kind of a C because one edge is going to be cut and then the two the two uh, edges and then it's going to create a flap that I'm going to fold fold with the other uh, score line. So I'm just going to cut that edge again using my score lines as kind of a guide and then I'm going to turn it so I can cut the top edge up into the score line for where it's going to fold and that's going to kind of form a back a backward C and there, there is how it's going to fold back and then I'm going to continue to cut across and I'm going to it's going to form three slots for our for our basket and then I'm going to cut the top the top edges this was the best way that I could find uh, because there are no dies that are available even though Sam Calcutt of Mix Up Craft does sell dies for some of her creations she's become uh, quite uh, uh, quite famous for her fancy folds but I I chose this pattern because it's I think it's pretty pretty easy to put together once you kind of uh, understand what the pattern is and by using the score lines uh, as a uh, as kind of a way to uh, to mark all your your cuts instead of drawing them out on your cardstock so here just using my bone folder I'm gonna crease all my folds that's the top that's the front of my basket and then the bottom of my basket these two flaps on the edges are going to be the flaps that are going to adhere to your card uh, to the inside of your card now we're going to work on those uh, the next piece is going to have to be putting together the uh, flaps but first I found that it was a lot easier to go ahead and pull in my copper clay uh, cardstock and that is three and a half by three inches and then use my 3D my cane weave 3D embossing folder to uh, to give that the basket texture that I want for the front of my uh, of my flower basket and then I don't show it on camera but I will be using a copper clay ink and a sponge dauber to kind of give it the dimension uh, that I need and that's going to go in the front so here are the three uh, three separators that go in uh, in our basket uh, I'm going to bring in my scoreboard because what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and score the tab that's going to be used to adhere it to the bottom of the basket so you're going to to lay that and I have it wrong here you're going to have to lay that along the um, the two and three fourths goes along the top of your score board and I'm just trying to make sure I get this right um, and then once you lie the two and three fourths along the top of your scoreboard you're going to score that at two and a half and that's going to create the tab that you need for adhering to the bottom of the mechanism that's going to fold up so now just simply use your bone folder and um, uh, crease those folds and we're for the inside of our mechanism now for adhering for adhering those you're going to open up your mechanism and you can see where you have the uh, flaps are kind of facing to the right and that is how you want them facing because you're going to take some glue and you're going to adhere some glue to the to that to each flap and then you're going to take that that layer that uh, separator and you're going to adhere that to that flap and you want to make sure that that your folded piece is also 
uh, is then f the folded the folded side is facing to the right and they all have to be aligned along the same direction and just go ahead and adhere that let's make sure it's nice and crisp crisp crisply uh, folded and that pretty much is is your mechanism and I'm just simply using uh, very carefully using some Tombow glue you don't want to get any excess glue seeping along the edges because as you know Tombow when it dries it does dry tacky and if this is meant to fold then you could run the risk of it kind of sticking together so be very careful when you're applying applying that glue okay so now to adhere the bottom of the tabs to our mechanism um, you're going to lay your mechanism out and I have the top of the mechanism uh, facing uh, facing north so to speak and then I'm just going to add glue to each one of these tabs and then there's a, a uh, fold line for the for the front of the mechanism or rather that's the really the bottom of the mechanism and all I'm going to do and again you want to be very careful when you apply this apply it thinly but do be thorough just don't apply a lot and I'm just making sure I get all my all my edges then you're just going to fold that flap over and you're going to adhere it to those um, to those pieces and then when you open it up voila you have um, your box mechanism that is uh, already now in this case I have a little bit that's kind of sticking out it doesn't really affect how the mechanism works but I'm going to go ahead and uh, and just trim that just to make sure it's it's nice and neat so now that we have the mechanism completed there's a couple of steps that um, are next uh, firstly I'm pulling in my base card and my uh, DSP layer for the back which is four and three fourths by six and three fourths and, and I'm also showing that offline I went ahead and I added the three and a half by three inch basket in the uh, copper clay color that I cut and embossed using my 3D weave and I used a sponge dauber to kind of give it some extra uh, dimension, just some extra color. I'm using some boho blue uh, ribbon that is in the annual catalog and I'm going to use a hot glue gun uh, just to adhere. Now you want to make sure that you get all your pieces of uh, DSP. The outside pieces uh, are the same size as the inside pieces which is two and a quarter by th six and three three quarters and you just go ahead and and apply apply those you want to get the your DSP layers and your basket uh, adhered in the front of your mechanism and now you can go ahead and adhere it to the inside of your card just simply using some Tombow glue be very careful that it doesn't seep because Tombow as you know when it dries it's very tacky the key point here is you want to ensure that that bottom is right aligned with the edge at the bottom of your card because that's going to give you the platform so that your card will when it's open it's going to stand up very nicely so that is one of the the key points you want to do when you're adhering your your mechanism to the inside now what I did since I have my little uh, muffin tin here with all my different flowers is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select uh, the flowers that I want for my arrangement and kind of lay them out on my on the background of my card I'm also pulling in some garden green and some punches this is a good place to use some of your some of your punches that that you may need uh, to kind of fill in the foliage around your arrangement so I kind of start out with the back and kind of my more mellow colors and then I pull in some of the uh, boho blue and that's uh, lemon lolly and then I think I have a a uh, piece here of I, I pull in a, a I think that's um, berry burst, and I just kind of, kind of um, choose my my uh, the flowers and kind of how I want my my arrangement to look. And I'm not, I'm just kind of 
pulling them in. in some cases I may have more than I actually want I've stamped them using different colors in the center so I'm just trying to to kind of match the centers with the copper the copper clay color then I'm going to take a piece of acetate and I'm going to cut strips here I'm cutting them a quarter I recommend that you go at least three uh, a half inch because for the for the uh, flowers that are going to be in the back those are very long stalks they're going to have to peek out from the from the back of the arrangement so you need a much thicker or wider piece of acetate to kind of hold the weight of the um, of the uh, the flower so I'm using a, a hot glue gun I am adhering the uh, acetate strip to the back of my flower and I'm laying them down um, upside down so that the it gives the glue the hot glue time to go ahead and to cool and to harden so that um, uh, I don't uh, I don't place it on my on my uh, stamping paper and and kind of create a mess but I do make a mistake in this video and I'll show you uh, what happens and how I, what I did to fix it so I'm going to begin with the the flower that's going to be in the very back and I'm trying to ensure that the height of the flower does not go beyond the top of the card however when I put my hot glue I press the basket and when I pull it off I have hot glue adhering to my DSP when I tried to scrape it off I ended up scraping off some of my my paper on my background so how I fixed that and it actually turned out not too bad is I just added some flowers uh, to the background and it kind of gave the uh, the arrangement a little bit more depth with the flowers kind of adhered to the background I then kind of put my front piece kind of where where I want to uh, uh, station the level and then I do a middle piece so I'm kind of taking two large blossoms uh, back front and and middle and then I begin to fill in the uh, the area in between with some of the smaller blossoms uh, and it's kind of hard to see because uh, I have to do this with the card standing up so I can get a, a sense for what the uh, what the arrangement is going to look like you also want to make sure that when you're uh, placing your flowers that when you fold the the gatefold that your flowers are not going beyond those folds everything has to be within the top bottom and sides of your card I'm going to go ahead and play some music and let you watch how the rest of the arrangement comes together
So I'm pulling in a stamp set called Celebrating You and I'm going to go ahead and stamp the front of our basket with our sentiment that's going to say Happy Mother's Day. And this was the only stamp set that I had in my uh, on my shelf that had a really pretty Happy Mother's Day sentiment. So I'm going to go and uh, I'm just pulling in some basic white and I'm also going to pull in the dies from the uh, I think it's a Timeless Arrangements um, dies. Uh, I'm also pulling in the circle, the uh, circle sayings that I'm going to use, but for the front I want to use the Timeless Arrangements dies because it has that really nice, really nice edge. And I'm just going to stamp uh, a couple of these. I'm using uh, the copper clay color and then I'm going to go ahead and we're going to cut those out with the our die cut machine and there they are and they make a really pretty it's really pretty in the front and I'm going to go ahead and add some dimensionals uh, to go ahead and adhere that and that's the the inside of the card and I'm working with two cards here um, so here's uh, here's the second card I'm just going to go ahead and attach that sentiment and that pretty and there you can see on the bottom it's the it's white so you can add a uh, a, write something there as well. Okay, so um, that's pretty much how the inside is. Now what we're going to do is we're going to build our um, belly band for the card. Now to hold our card close, we're going to uh, make a belly band and this is going to you need a piece of basic white cardstock two inches by eleven you're going to score it at two inches and seven and eight inches and then you're going to secure it with a piece of tear tape and that fits nicely around the uh, around the middle of the card and I'm making two cards here uh, so I'm going to create two belly bands you can see how nice those fit then I'm going to go ahead and select some uh, coordinating DSP, some, some alternating patterns for the front of our uh, belly band, just simply cutting that at 4 and 7 eighths and 1 and 7 eighths, and then adding that to the front with some Tombow glue. And that will create, uh, actually the plainer the front is, the prettier it is because all the um, all the excitement is kind of on the uh, on the inside on the inside of the card so it all kind of uh, goes rather nice um, I do check when my how my basket opens up and if there is any pieces that are kind of snagging I do go ahead and trim them so that uh, so that they're not uh, impeding how the um, the basket bouquet opens up so we're just going to go ahead and add those now for the front of our belly band, I want to add a sentiment, so I'm pulling in the circle sayings here, and I use a, a white eraser, I think I've demonstrated this before, it for a brand new stamp set, just to make sure that the stamp picks up the ink. Now because I haven't used the stamp set before, I'm just kind of testing it, because I want to layer um, that outside stamp with the inside saying here, and I just want to make sure that I get them aligned correctly. I'm using Boho Blue and um, uh, crush, uh, Copper copper Clay are my colors. So you can see that I tested it. It is aligned. So now I'm going to go ahead and stamp it uh, on a piece of basic white cardstock here for my, um, for my front piece and this is again the circle sayings bundle that I'm using and then I'm using the copper clay and then the outside is the boho blue and I'm going to cut that out and this uh, this punch comes with the bundle so I'm just simply going to punch that out and then I'm going to flip it around I'm going to to um, align it so I can cut the uh, and I guess you call this a medallion I'm kind of making a medallion that's going to go in the front of my uh, uh, front of my card on my belly band again uh, just kind of uh, stamp those and then I'm going to uh, punch it out with the the punch now it's a little 
it, it's a little light to put on the front. I was kind of looking at what other kind of uh, embellishments I could add, but I really decided that instead of adding an embellishment, what I was going to do is I was going to grab another punch. And in this case, I believe it's the two and a half inch punch that I have. And I'm going to um, punch that with out of um, the uh, copper clay cardstock and it's going to create a really nice um, base and it's going to have a very very nice outline so there's the the two and a half inch punch just add some Tombow and put that on the uh, layer that on the copper clay cardstock and look how nice it's just perfect it just adds just enough um, accent and again it's plain so you kind of save the surprise of the flowers without putting any flowers on the outside uh, for the um, for the inside and then I just simply added and the trick here is I put the uh, the dimensionals in the center of where I want my circle medallion to be centered so there you go I'm laying out some of the products that I used the circle sayings the, um, I believe it's the Timeless Arrangement dies, the 3D cane embossing folder, and um, I believe I also have the Cheerful Daisies that is the, the kind of the main suite that's being used for this. Um, there are the circle punches, the two and a half and the I believe it's like a two and three quarters or two and three eighths, but that's part of the bundle. I also use some of my old dies that are my old punches that I may have for for cutting the the foliage for the inside, and then all the different colors that are uh, reflected in the both the daisies and in the cards, uh, the actual card itself. The ribbon is also available in the new catalog. So. There you go, a couple of uh, easy steps and you you have a nice card. Um, if you haven't already, please hit like and all products are available on my online store. I'll provide the link or go to my blog for the product details. It's really a pretty card, especially for Mother's Day. If you're looking for a demonstrator, please consider me. You can join for $99, get $125 of products, and enjoy a 20% discount on subsequent orders. With uh, as a as a hobbyist, there's no pressure to uh, to do any selling. If you are a demo and you like my content, please support my channel by hitting like, share, and leave a comment. This is uh, Kat Chancellor with Stamp Art Connection and StampArtConnection.com. Thank you so much for joining me. And if you don't hear it before, happy Mother's Day and happy stamping.